Hi guys, it's me Sarah here again. For those of you that didn't see my first video I posted about showmanship, you guys can check that out if you want. But today we're here to talk about some coat colors and coat patterns. I am a 4-H alumni and I have Rocky here with me again today. He is a Sorrel Overo colored horse. Sorrel meaning the dominant color in his coat is this red shade. And Overo just meaning that from the point of his wither to the point of his hip, he is that red sorrel shade over top. He has no white crossing over his top line. If there were white crossing over his crossing over his top line, he would be considered a Tobiano. But since there is not, he is an Overo. And as you can also see, he does have some gray points. You can see he's a little rony up here through his mane and through his tail. He is also a little rony, so he does have that gray factor. So Rocky does have a bald face, as you guys can see, just meaning his, the white markings on his face go from both sides, left to right, and all the way from the top, right below his little cowlick underneath his forelock, all the way down to his lips. And even on the bottom of his lip, going up his jawline, back into his coat. He has one fetlock on his front foot, meaning that that white mark goes up to his flat lock, which is equivalent to our ankle. And in the hind, as you can see, he has two stockings. The stockings characteristically are above the middle of the cannon bone and up. As you can see, he does have two very high stockings. So that's Rocky's coat patterns, pretty clean cut and simple for him. And we can move on to the next one. So this here is Dancer. He is an Arab. If you guys can't tell by his fancy mohawk he's got going on since he is now retired. He is a, he's a Bay Arab. As you can see, he has black points on his mane, his tail, his forelock, and on his legs, on his muzzle and the tip of his ears. His face markings, he has ooh, a star, a strip, and a snip, just meaning that there's a star up here that's connected by a strip going down his face and a snip on his nose on the top lip and on the bottom lip. I'm going to tie him back up so he doesn't try to bite me anymore. On his front legs, he has two stockings. They're not as high as Rocky's, but they're still considered stockings because they are above the middle of this bone up to his knee. And if you look closely again, you can see the black points right above the white on his markings. And on the hind, he has a sock on the hind because it is above the point of his ankle or his fetlock. And again, you can see the black points going into his sock. And on the far right leg, you can see that it does not have a marking. Instead, it is black. That is a characteristic coat pattern of bay. He is a very clean cut bay, straight to the point. And over here, we're gonna have a kind of confusing bay. I'm just gonna say, you guys, I shave him every year. I did not get my clippers sharpened this year, and this is what happens when your horse with a very thick coat kills your clippers in the middle of shaving. So. He kind of looks like a mess and this is how he's going to live for now. He's very quarantined until he looks like a respect, respectable young man again. He is considered a dark bay, although at this point, because he is shaved, he does look grula. He is not grula. It is kind of a play on the eyes. If you look at his belly or even over here where he still does have hair or even a little bit up here, you can see that his coat color has a tinted brown effect. So he's considered a dark bay. He is not black. He is not grula. Cru, grula. Um, fun fact, actually, a lot of horses aren't a true black. That is considered a rare coat color. But for him, he has black points on his muzzle, on the tips of his ears. Forgot to say, this is Dakota, for those of you that don't know. He is a pony. He is two inches under the height of a horse, so he's still a pony. On his face markings, you can see that he has a bald face. Again, starts at the top, goes all the way to the bottom. 
His does not go to his bottom lip, but it does go pretty far from side to side. This one almost goes to the point of his jowl on his left side, and his right side also goes far from the point of his eye to his nose. So I'm gonna tie him back up real quick. He is also considered an overall. He's pretty much solid besides, he's pretty much solid besides for some random dots here and there. He has a sock right here. Again, just goes above the point of the ankle up and on the other side he has a buff marking which just goes to the point of his ankle. He does have a belly spot and that's about all the markings I have to show you guys. If you have any questions, just post them down in the comments or let us know. Thanks.